Earlier in the year I made a video about NS9's nice premium bonds to see if they still have a place in today's market. I'll leave a link to that video in case you missed it. In that video I said I'd held the full allocation of £50,000 for a while now, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you guys how I've got on. For anyone new to the channel, firstly, hi. I just wanted to say I don't always sound like this, I'm just getting over Covid, so fingers crossed my voice will hold out for the whole video. To give my winnings from my premium bonds some context, I'll compare them to what I could have earned in interest in the top paying Easy Access savings account at the time. As the rates have risen somewhat this year, this has made it a little fiddly, but I'll show you the rate changes for each month. For the interest calculations, I haven't compounded the interest by adding it to the savings account total each month, so the balance I've worked out the return on is £50,000 flat. With rates being so low, adding on the interest wouldn't have made that much difference to be honest. You'll see in a minute how much, or how little I should say, £50,000 makes. For each month though, I'll also work out if I've managed to beat the best savings rate at the time with my bond winnings. I'll leave links below as well to the tools I've used to work out the interest rates. With premium bonds, everyone's winnings will be different, so I'm not saying you'll earn the same as me if you hold 50 grand in premium bonds, but I think videos like this are useful to help you make an informed decision if it's something you're thinking about. You may very well go months on end with no winnings. You may win the top prize of a million pounds on your first draw. You just never know how it's gonna go. I'll let you know my thoughts on how I've got on at the end of the video though. As I mentioned in my first premium bonds video, you have to hold bonds for a full month before you are entered into a prize draw. I bought my bonds before the December draw, so my first eligible draw I would have been entered into was January. So for my first draw in January, I received a whopping zero pounds. Yay. Not off to a great start. If I'd held that £50,000 in an instant access savings account, then I would have seen a return of £29.17 on my investment. That's with the best rate at the time of 0.7%. That means my return for my bonds is nice and easy to work out. 0% return. So January was a big fat nope when it came to beating the bank rates. Let's see if February was any better. In February I won £50, much better. Interest rates were still flatter than a suicidal hedgehog, so the best rate at the time was still 0.7%. That means that I beat the return I would have got in the best savings account at the time. That win gives me the equivalent interest rate of 1.2%. March saw history repeat itself with another £50 in winnings, and with interest rates for savings still at 0.7%, I was starting to feel pretty smug. For two months in a row I'd nearly got double back in returns for my premium bonds compared to what I would have got if I had the money in an instant access savings account. Things changed in April though. The interest rates were starting to rise to try and curb rising inflation, which if you're saving is great. It does make premium bonds a lot less desirable though, as they generally cannot compete with high interest rates. So in April I won £25. As a percentage that means a 0.6% return. The best savings rates in April was 0.9%, so £50,000 in a savings account would have netted me £37.50. May saw another rate rise on savings accounts, and it also saw a very sad looking me as I opened up the NSNI Price Checker app to be greeted with absolutely no winnings that month. The best savings rate for May was now up to 1%, which would have returned me £41.67, so May was a winner for savings. June saw me putting the scalpels and ice packs away, as I did win £25 for my premium bonds, so that's a 0.6% return. The best savings rate at the time was still 1%, so again, bonds are being outperformed by savings accounts. July though saw my best win yet. In late June, Ennis and I announced they were raising the chances of winning, so I had some high hopes for July. I wasn't let down either, as I won £75. At this point, I'm debating buying some spare spleens with my winnings. This meant that the return rate for July was 1.8%, even though the best savings rates had risen to 1.25%, which would have returned me £52.08. Premium bonds won out. 
August was a bit of a letdown with just one prize of £25, so back down to 0.6%. August saw savings rates climb again to 1.4%, so that 50 grand in a savings account would have netted me £58.33. So if we take my premium bond winnings total for the year so far, which is £250, and divide that by the eight months I've been eligible to win prizes, that gives us a monthly income of £31.25. If we do the same for savings, we get a total of £318.76, which gives us a monthly average of £39.84 from January to August. That works out at just over £8 a month difference, so there isn't a great deal in it for me so far. So if we look over this relatively long period, high street banks have come out on top, but that doesn't mean I'm cashing out my premium bonds just yet. There's always the chance of winning bigger prizes, and if I did, they would have absolutely smash the best savings rates by miles. Winnings are also tax free, which is very beneficial to me personally, as I'm very close to having to pay tax on my interest earned. With that taken into consideration, I would say I'm likely on a par return rate wise, as if I had all my cash and savings, I'd be paying more in tax. If you hold bonds, then let me know how you've got on down below. What's your biggest win so far, and what's your biggest stretch with no winnings? It'll be interesting to see other people's experiences with them. I've seen a few people do monthly updates with their premium bonds, so I'm thinking of lumping that into my monthly portfolio update videos. That's it for today though. I'm going to chug an entire beehive's worth of honey to try and soothe my throat. Don't forget to sub for future content. I hope to see you next time. Take care out there. Peace.